Good morning. Today I'm standing in a what looks to be a dead field of something, right? Well, this is a, a cereal rye cover crop we planted in the fall, and uh, it's gonna end up being tomatoes. But what I want to talk about today is just what all goes in to just getting ready to plant the tomato crop, and then also show you the actual planting process. But. Number one is to have an outlet for your tomatoes to go to. So uh, we have a contract with a company called Red Gold. We've had that for 30 some years and, and it, it's a great opportunity and it's uh, we, one we don't take for granted at all. But so anyway, what goes into tomatoes? Um, one, number one is planting. You know, it takes a lot of planting. It's, uh, it's important to pick the right fields to try to place your varieties, the different variety package that you have in the fields that fit the soil types and stuff and then try to t take out as much risk as you can but then it just prepare you know it takes a lot of a lot of time and effort you know we this this cover crop you see here we found it is worked really well for us in lighter soils um, here it just it keeps the dirt together it keeps weed pressure down it seems to just give us a great nice uh, seed bed and uh, We've just we've seen great results with it, so that's what we'll, we keep doing. But so anyway, the the first step today was to figure out what form of tillage we were gonna do to get the seed bed ready enough so that we could plant our transplants. But it's pretty wet. We've had I don't know three or four inches of rain in the last week, and so we're at our sandiest farm, which luckily is planned out well because our the variety that we're planting today is one that does well on a sandier soil. So. So what we started with today is we took our Great Plains Turbo Max uh, vertical tillage tool and ran it through that stuff. Not here, but over in that spot of the field. And then that wasn't quite enough. So then we, we went over here and we got our, our John Deere field finisher and uh, ran that. And that, that seemed to really get the seed bed to where we wanted it to be ready to run our, our Rotera machine, which I'll show you here in a second. So this is another tool that we use to prep the ground and get it ready uh, for the transplants to go in. It's got little tines, if you can see them in there, they, they rotate uh, pretty quickly. And then this, this is what we call it, it's a beater bar. It just kind of takes the dirt and, and packs it down so it's not too fluffy. Um, but it's, it's pulled by a John Deere uh, 8230. It's also got a RTK auto steer system. Because the, the idea is that we have to match the same auto steer path that we're doing with the planter. So there's no wheel tracks in an area where a tomato plant could be. So this morning we started about seven o'clock. He's got three rounds done in these short quarter mile rows, but um, that's, that's what it looks like after they're planted. The idea is to get a really good stand, you know, because uniformity and stand is everything with not only row crops but tomatoes. So, yeah, we're looking for that that V shape, you know, a plant every I don't know, roughly 18 inches apart. Um, the, the plants themselves are planted at 11,000 plants per acre. Every plant produces roughly 80 to 120 tomatoes come harvest time. And not all of those are ripe at once, but the, the vast majority are. But uh, we're gonna take a look at the planter here so you can kind of get an in-depth look at, at how the thing does its job. It makes a little slit actually in the ground. Transplants are put in these cups by people that ride the machine. So we'll check it out here in a minute and uh, you'll get to see what it's like. So the tractor drives itself. Well, not really, but right now it is. Um, it's got a John Deere RTK system with an auto track universal wheel. It's just an older John Deere 6310 we've had a long time. The planter itself is 15 feet wide. It has six rows. So as you can see, the plants go in these cups just like that. They fall down in the chute. And then they have a mechanism that actually drops them into the ground, kicks them out. And then these press wheels close 
behind. You can see they're not closing the best today because of the wet conditions, but as long as that root ball is surrounded by dirt, well, you're generally okay, but. The plants come in trays like this, and uh, every one of them has a little ball, like so, but, but every plant has to be pulled out of that tray, put in those cups that rotate around, and and then those those uh, cups, as they rotate around, they fall down. It's it's very synchronized the two together, and uh, yeah. So anyway, six people right on there, two people walk in the back, and it turns out like so. The people that walk back here are looking for any skips that happen any uh, problems that may be happening with the machine so that the driver can stop and then the driver actually kind of gets in and out of the cab it's going slow 0.8 to one mile an hour so it's, it's not too unsafe to hop in and out but that's pretty much it that's what it looks like it uses water and fertilizer it goes down in that we call it a shoe right there you can kind of see the base of the shoe there but yeah, water and fertilizer goes down the shoe, the plant drops in there, then it gets kicked out and planted. So that's pretty much the start of how uh, tomatoes get going. There's a, a long process ahead to take care of them. Um, they just, uh, they're kind of a finicky plant that requires a lot of management, a lot of time, a lot of effort. But uh, it, it's a pretty cool to watch a little plant transplant like that flourish into a, a large enough plant to have 100 tomatoes on so excited to show you guys throughout the season what's going on uh, what we're doing and uh, watch those little things grow